For the kettlebell or dumbbell swing, you're essentially alternating between two body positions. The first is a standing plank. So if we were planking on the floor like this, we'd have glutes squeezed, core braced, really strong, sturdy stance. Same thing here, but our arms would be forward holding the dumbbell or kettlebell. The second position is a hip hinge, not a squat with a big knee bend. So soft knees, drive your hips back, keeping your back flat as you hinge, essentially becoming a tabletop you could eat dinner off of your back here, right? So your back is not rounded, it is not excessively arched. Hands will come in between your legs, kind of up by your butt, all the way up. Okay, from here, we'll drive through our feet and explode up to that plank position. Let the weight of the kettlebell or dumbbell then come down and drive you through as you hike it back again and explode forward. So now let's walk through it with both the kettlebell and dumbbell. I recommend positioning the weight out in front of you so you can get into this hip hinge position and hold on to the weight. Tilt the kettlebell toward you and corkscrew your hands into it so that the bony part of your elbow points back behind you and the crease points forward. That's gonna help to engage your lats right here. Nice flat back here. We're gonna hike the weight in between our legs and explode forward. Inhale, back into that hike, and exhale as you explode forward. You can then finish in this position. Now the dumbbell is gonna be a little bit more awkward, but you can still totally do it. Again, you'll angle the dumbbell, wrap your elbows pointing back behind you to engage your lats. From here, hike the dumbbell in between your legs and drive it forward. Make sure as you are doing this, you are returning to that plank position, not driving your hips all the way forward like this. We're alternating between those two positions the entire way through.